I was wrong to think that audio glasses are a dumb idea because as I write to work every day this month, they fill a void that no other tech I own can. These are the Bose Frame Tempos and yes, they stand out, but I bought them for a specific reason. There's nothing in your ears. With the speaker drivers being built into the arms of the glasses, you're able to listen to music on audiobooks whilst also being fully aware of your surrounding. It also means no wind whistling in your ears from a protruding object such as earbuds. These guys, they're sleek as, like they're designed for aerodynamics. They have an IPX4 water resistant rating, meaning they're splash proof and sweat proof. Oh, that's cold. <laughs> now, a big reason I went with these over other sound glasses is they have removable sports lenses. Stock out the box, they ship with mirrored black polarized lenses, and I picked up their medium to low light trail blue. These are great for sharpening details of uneven terrain whilst reducing bright light. Ideal for trail running and obviously my use mountain biking. There's a couple of other options for brighter or lower light conditions, and they're all polarized except for the twilight yellow. They're obviously for when there's no sun, so polarized would be useless. But the chunky arms of the glasses can provide fitment issues, and we'll get into that in a moment. You get a great protective hard case with a cleaning cloth and a USB-C charge cable. It's worth mentioning these are the only USB-C Bose sound glasses. The rest use an old proprietary magnetic connector. So it's great to see USB-C on these ones. Battery 80%, ready to connect. Bluetooth 5.1 brings the low energy flavor, giving battery life up to eight hours. I've never run out of battery and I recharge every few days. Connected to Pixel 5. Taking a squeeze inside the Bose Music app, we're not gonna find any EQ controls, but we can modify the paired Bluetooth devices. Inside the tip section, you're gonna find some great guides on how to operate this device. So the multifunction button does your standard on and off, but it's also music controls through a single press for play pause, double for forward, and triple to skip backwards. So to the standard stuff there, which is great. To adjust volume, you swipe the top right arm forwards to go up and back to go down. So if you wear gloves in winter or whilst riding, they need to have those touchscreen fingertips if you want to be able to change the volume on the glasses. It's hard to convey audio levels through a video, but right now I'm listening to music at a moderate volume. Uh, and my microphone is right there. If I ramp it right up to an almost uncomfortable level, if I hold these up close, you're definitely going to be hearing it now. It's so crazy how good they sound. If someone's sitting next to you, of course they're gonna hear some sound. There's no isolation from the environment. However, these are designed for outdoor use. You shouldn't be sitting in, at your office desk wearing glasses. Uh, that's just weird. It has a handy feature of double tapping the side to prompt a voice assistant. If you missed my last vid, we converted my garage door into a smart garage door where I can ask Google to open the garage whilst I'm riding home. The flip to off feature, it's pretty straightforward. When you flip it upside down, after two seconds, it'll turn off. I just heard it turn off then. There's one play trick left, and that's the two beam forming microphones that you're listening to right now. This is the best case scenario. We're indoors, there's no wind, there's no other sound to compete with. So it should be the best quality that you're going to hear. But if we jump outdoors onto the bike. All right, this is 20 kilometers an hour riding along. There's no wind. This is a built-in microphone. We're about to go down the hill. So we're gonna pick up speed quite a lot. All right, we are at 40 kilometers an hour. Top gear. Right, 50 kilometers per hour, this is the amount of wind talking at a general pace. So I actually just got a call then, and I'm riding at 35 kilometers an hour down the hill. And I, I asked if they could hear me fine. They said, it's a little bit hard to make out. They heard everything I said. It's understandable. That's true, really, that's so cool. Dude, glasses, 2022. These have become my go-to with doing anything outside. I no longer use my headphones or earbuds. I'm just rocking the glasses because the sound is just, yeah, really freaking good. Now, I don't really like playing audio back for a recording like that, as that was recorded with the Rode VideoMic NTG, then compressed at 128 kilobits per second for YouTube and played back through whatever speaker you have. So, most likely a pair of earbuds. It's not a real life example of what the Bose Frame tempos would sound like going into your own ear. So, to give you a bit of an example, closed back headphones, nowhere near as much bass. Like these are the pinnacle of bass. Everyone knows that a closed back headphone will give you the most possible. Open back headphones, they have less bass, wider sound stage. And that's a little bit closer to what it sounds like for the frame tempo since they are 
not covering up your ears. The closest thing I would say it is, is a VR headset, because those have speakers built into the arms. However, the quality of the bows are like phenomenal compared to something like the Quest. So for soundstage, how wide the sound is, I'm gonna place it around here between the VR and like a pair of open back headphones. For audio quality specifically, I'm placing them below earbuds. Although the bass is lacking, the treble's not out of hand. So I wouldn't call them tinny. There's no like harsh sibilance, but because they are lacking that bass, they're not a fully rounded sound signature. But end of the day, mate, they are sunglasses. Like your expectations can't be crazy high with these high big drivers or direct into your eardrum sound. They're in a world of their own. And since audio is so subjective, I'm gonna tell you how to try these risk-free later on in the video. Cause you just might like them, just like this video. Hit that thumbs button, hit subscribe, appreciate it. I've had a few friends try these on and they've all been incredibly impressed by the audio quality coming from a pair of sunglasses, especially how loud they can go. All right, so let's talk about fitment. Like how does it go with a helmet? If I try and squeeze it in here, it's really tight. There's like pressure on the side of my temple here and after riding for like 10 minutes, it's unbearable. It's way too uncomfortable. And what double sucks is if I take off my chin guard, these little knob bits here stay there. So if I fall off, hit the side of my head, I wouldn't feel very safe knowing that my temple is right where the pressure's going. You don't want that. So a normal helmet, like a skate helmet, that's completely fine, which has these lower profile sides. This is what I've been using to ride to work with. Obviously, if you're gonna use these just for like running and jogging, your cap's fine. No issue there. These are a one size fits most type products. So they come with three nose pad options, but that doesn't change the shape of your head if with this either fits or doesn't. Some of my friends that are like female with smaller heads, like it's way too big. That's it's swimming on their face. It would never work. My brother, he's got a bigger head than me. He actually had to stretch his out and kind of like heated up the plastic and stretched it out a little bit. I'm six foot with an average size melon because they fit pretty good for me. They do put a little bit of pressure on my cheekbones because of the lower like riding arm, but like I'm loving it. So I suggest trying them on in store before you buy or buy from Bose like I did, where you get a 90 day risk-free trial. So for satisfaction, you can return them if you don't like the fit or feel. These are expensive glasses. They're often on sale for $299 and that's what I paid. Uh, and it's 60 bucks for the interchangeable lenses. So if you're gonna change them out for a specific purpose, that's the extra added cost as well. As far as some other options for open ear audio, you have bone conduction. Uh, those have an annoying band around the back. Or there is Sony's little Buds Light. They're like donut holes. Those would definitely allow you to hear your surroundings and use them in more contexts. I just chose these because I thought getting them on and off whilst wearing a full face helmet is gonna be the easiest. Unfortunately, they don't fit, but I've kept them because I just love them that much anyway. I completely understand that these are not a cheap product, but people drop this cash on designer glasses and they're just plain plastic. These have tech, like really good tech. Thumbs this video if you like it, sub it if you love it, and I'll see you in the next one. To thinks on this, my favorite fitness tracker. See you there.